opposite of composition would be something like decomposition, wouldn't it? So now, let's take a chemical, like a compound, and break it down. Decomposition. Iron 3 selenide decomposes into its elements. Okay, decomposes into its elements. So now, what do you do? Well, first of all, this is the compound you've got to break down. So let's write the formula. Now, iron 3, you know what iron is Fe. And since it says 3, you know which charge to use. You've been told. So it's going to be Fe with the 3 positive charge. And what's that going to do? It is going to come together with selenide. And on the periodic table, that's Se. Check the charge in group 16 or 6A. It's 2 negative. How do you put those two together? Switch the charges. Yeah, I know. Okay, look. But the point is, right, you need two of these to react with three of these. And so, don't leave those charges lying around. You're going to go Fe2Se3. It's a solid. You weren't told it was a solid. All ionic compounds are solid at room temperature. When they're put into water, they're going to become aqueous later. But not yet. So, iron 3 selenide decomposes into its elements. What are its elements? Well, Fe is one of the elements, and that's a solid, and Se is the other one. Is it Se2? No. Is it Se4? No. Is it Se8? No. Because you memorized NO group 7. No group 7. Those are all the diatomics. S8, P4, everything else is 1. Like that. Okay. So now, that's a solid because if you check, selenium is a solid at room temperature. Now, how do you balance that reaction? Well, it looks like it's going to be straightforward. Two Fe's. Two. Three Se's. Three. Guess what? It is. And so there's the decomposition of a chemical, an ionic chemical, an ionic compound, into its elements. Ah. If I say to you, decompose this compound. And by the way, that's an ionic compound that is made up of a metal and an aggregate called a polyatomic ion, I'm going to get to that now, and those are located on your periodic table, usually a chart with, with a little bit of, uh, uh, it's in a box, uh, aside from the periodic table, it'll say list or a uh, collection of polyatomic ions. And I'll get to that and how to put those together coming up. Right now, I'm just saying decompose this chemical into its elements. Now, don't decompose into calcium and then something called carbonate, if it says decompose into its elements, you've got to break it down into calcium plus carbon plus oxygen. Hey, calcium's a solid at room temperature. Carbon's a solid at room temperature. And oxygen is diatomic gas. Balance? 1Ca, 1Ca, 1C, 1C, 3Os, 2Os, what are we going to do? 6. So therefore, if we put a 2 in front here, we got 2 times 3 is 6 oxygens. Put a 3 here, 3 times 2, 6 oxygens. But wait, we messed with the calciums and the carbons. Two calciums now, two carbons now. Look, I know I might be going fast, but balancing isn't that really, it's not hard. Just concentrate, look at it, figure it out, put numbers in front. It's all good.